hi guys and welcome back to my channel we're back in my room and today i'm doing an update on my braids let's get into it so i've had these braids for four weeks now actually it's exactly four weeks on thursday but i have to take them out because i'm going to an event tomorrow and i've got love kings on sunday so i just need my afro to breathe so i can decide what style i'm doing and all of that for sunday and yeah so it's four weeks on thursday so basically i'm just gonna round it off and say it's four weeks my braids as you can see have aged really well there is no difference like i saw in the comments people saying no if you don't blow dry um the the, the braids will age differently and they won't age well actually there's been 100 percent no difference i've washed my uh, scalp once so when you wash you just wash at the bottom and then you rinse out i wanted to do a tutorial for that but maybe i'll do it like when, next time i have braids next year so basically to wash the hair you take a spray bottle and you put a conditioner inside not leave-in conditioner actual conditioner and you just spray the base of your hair and you leave it in for like 30 minutes or whatever just for it to do the cleaning and then when you rinse it out in the shower or in the basin you, you only rinse out the scalp so you take the shower head or the bath head and you just rinse out your scalp and that's how i washed it i followed up with the water and conditioner as always um so what i'll be doing today i'm going to be showing you guys how to take out the braids but before i do that i'm just going to tell you about my overall experience with the braids in the four weeks um, so okay, so I was maintaining them using water and leave-in conditioner the whole time. I probably put on oil maybe five times throughout the four weeks. Um, I did swim in the braids. I did basically I was using water on them every day, and they didn't slip out or anything. So let me take them out. I was using water every day on the braids. My scalp is really clean. They didn't like on the actual braid they didn't ruffle up too much so that was basically how i maintained them and i didn't see any adverse effects um they were actually quite perfect i really enjoyed the color i don't really want to take them out because i still love them but unfortunately for love kings and for work and other purposes i need to take them out and also like you don't want to keep your braids in for too long or the product starts uh, clogging up at the top these are not this which is nice so they don't do that thing when they're braiding so they just started braiding straight away so my hair won't break a lot at the at the joining part um, my hair did grow as normal so your hair approximately grows like half, less than a centimeter i think it's half a centimeter every month so that's the normal growth braids don't make your hair grow any faster um but i feel like my hair has been protected for example um no for example so i feel like my hair is protected underneath because i'm not like um styling and pulling or anything so my hair is just sitting underneath this braid unfortunately my hair did break a bit so my hairline did break a bit so you can see there's hairs that basically broke at the joining part even here i've been feeling that there's parts where the hair did break but i did feel like it's still better than um how i did my braids before like lots of fiber and like the holding a little bit of hair with um a lot of braiding so obviously because i had a good ratio from hair to braid um it didn't break as much as it used to so i think what i've come to accept is that with protective hair styling your hair will have some kind of like breakage but just make sure it's minimal breakage so the hairstyle that you do has to have minimal um breakage that's why my favorite protective uh, protective hairstyles are done with your actual hair and then don't pull like the twists or the three strand uh, braids or like um what do you call the thing twist flat twist um i've seen a lot of girls with really really long hair on instagram do a lot of like cornrows with their own hair so anyway, so the last part of this video, I, want, I don't want this to be a very long video. Okay, so to take out my braids, I'm going to add detangler and um, conditioner into my um, water, into my plain water. So this is my bottle with my plain water. So the detangler helps, you'll see how it'll help. So it'll help with just detangling your hair at the top. any detangler if you don't have detangler it's not a trade smash you don't have to use anything um, to replace the detangler and then you must 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 use a conditioner so you just put your conditioner like this nozzle does it even work yeah it's working so the conditioner is great because the cleaning process will probably start while you're still taking out your braids 
can also use cream like your lock method cream but the detangler and the soap works for me this is basically the paraben free soap so this is um carol's daughter hair milk cleansing conditioner and this is nalotica um uh, detangler these go for probably like 150 each at clicks and and this game this one's available at this game both of them are available at clicks okay so before you undo your braids you want to always moisturize so you want to spray the water onto your scalp let me do like a small section so you want to spray right the detangler and as easily as possible even if you have cornrows even if you have twists you have to do this so you're gonna finish this on your whole head see how, how much of it there is and if it dries up obviously braids take really long so as it dries up as you get to a certain section it's dried up actually you just do each section do it section at a time because if I spray my whole head now by the time I get here it'll be dry take a pair of scissors and you cut where your hair ends so my hair ends here so I'll cut like there And then you can use the back of a, a long comb or you can use your fingers I prefer using my fingers and I just feel like we have the um, responsibility to show our friends and also to um, to help our friends so that they can help someone else that's how the word of mouth um, gets um, that's how word of mouth will work for us in the natural hair um, situation. So this is my friend Adelaide. I don't know if your face will show, so you have to come lower. This is my friend Adelaide. So I took out her hair last week with the same method. Uh, water, detangler, and um, conditioner. And her hair was quite, was made it quite small. So I think it's an advantage for her going forward because her hair loss um, won't be as much. And she actually said to me, oh my gosh, you know, I used to lose so much hair and now it's so much better. So that this moisturizing or just like lubricating your hair makes the breakage process way better. So because I undid her hair for like an hour and a half, she's gonna help me undo my hair. But now she'll tell her friend and her sisters and the word of mouth just gets around about how to better do this. And I feel like that's the advantage of Instagram and YouTube and obviously word of mouth which is much more traditional um this is the best way to like share information and just help each other out you know um so yeah she's gonna do it on me and she'll just also she's also just practicing uh whether she basically grasps the information so at my next love kings event that's actually what i'm gonna do people are going to be doing their own hair because they actually grasp the information better when you're actually doing it so she's gonna do um one braid and I'm gonna talk about the detangling process with you guys after that. Okay guys, so this is what the hair looks like after you've taken out the, the braid. So the issue now with, um, uh, with single strand braids and even cornrows is that like at the joining part um you have to detangle so my hair is um detangled better because i already sprayed the detangler and the water and the conditioner but in the case where your hair is really dry your hair will still be together here and if you go straight into washing uh with conditioner before you detangle this part your hair will break here so you see my hair is already the detangling is really getting done now and actually detangling is one of the most important parts of um, hair care and some hair is falling out but you lose about a hundred strands a day of hair so that four weeks that I had these braids all that hair will fall out so don't panic and also you see full lengths of hair falling out which means it's actually really natural it's coming out from the root which is actually like part of the process because you do lose um, hair from your root um you know you have you know you have a really big problem if you're losing hair from the bottom only because that means that you know, your hair is not moisturized and you're not retaining um length um so if you're seeing long strands of hair that you're losing that's okay if you're seeing too many short strands that's bad breakage 
so yeah that's how you undo your cornrows and your single strand braids let's talk about it tell your friends um let's do it together so that you can learn and retain the knowledge better and yeah thank you for watching see natural see you next time please comment please subscribe please tell your friends and your family to subscribe